So now that I've showed you how that works, I'll show you how to actually create the image file for your own level. I'm sure most people would want to do this tool. So for this, you're going to need a uh, paint editor, an image editing program. And I recommend using paint.net. It's very flexible. And for creating a lot of my thumbnails and images, I use this program. So I'm going to use paint.net to create my custom level, create my level image, color code level. Now a file I recommend you open for this is, so, so you're going to have this blank one. So when you first open paint.net, of this blank image, so just click on image and then resize. We're going to want to resize this to a 32 by 32. Or you could do 16 by 16 pixels. It's a small image file, but it's more than enough space for the level that we're going to be making. So just click on that and click resize. <coughs> when you zoom in, you'll see this uh, grid. But if it's not here, I also recommend check opening the display pixel grid when zoomed in. Really helps when creating your level. <coughs> One thing I recommend doing is when you select the move tool, <coughs> select quality and nearest neighbor and to pixelated selection. Then with your move tool, click on this white image. And then move this, move this out of this so we have a transparent image. <coughs> the background of the image has to be transparent so uh, the editor doesn't mistake the background for a certain color of tile. And then it would generate tiles around our tile, which would not look nice. <coughs> How do you have done that? I recommend opening the included level tile color codes chart that comes with the project, the packages file. <coughs> now this shows you what color each type of tile is assigned to. So now this corner tile here, this gray color, <coughs> while this corner here is a more of a pinkish color. So, <coughs> yeah. <coughs> So we're going to be going back and forth between this and here to create our image. <coughs> so uh, when you have this image open, select the color picker, then drag it over the color one of these tiles. Also shows you what shape the tile is, which also is helpful in creating a look. <coughs> So, so wait, just select a tile here, go right down here, change to the pencil tool. Now you can start drawing, drawing pixels. Each of these would represent a corner piece, but we don't want that. So, <clears throat> so now just use that to create your level using the different color for each kind of tile you want to use. <coughs> So I'll now create mine. And I'll just uh, create a basic level. <coughs> if you're following this point, you know, you can do that too. <coughs>
see, so now that I've created my very basic level here, I click on File, Save As, <coughs> and navigate to uh, navigate to that Unity project in here. Go to Assets Tools. Inside the Textures folder, flip, navigate the here in that project, and then type in a name of what you want to save your level. So I'm just call, gonna call it a uh, my level, <coughs> and also make sure to save it as a PNG. The editor uh, it will only work properly with PNGs. JPEGs are not recommended. So save it as a PNG file. <coughs> and just save it. Now when you go back to the Unity editor, you'll find your levels file where you placed it in here. <coughs> now there, before we can use it for our, to generate a level, we need to change some settings. Uncheck, check, so first, uncheck generate mipmap. Check on alpha is transparency. Check on read slash write. If read slash write and transparency are enabled, it won't be able to read your level properly. Cha also recommend changing the filter mode to point. <coughs> Do not set it by linear. It needs to be point, so it gets each pixel properly. As for compression, you don't need to change this, but I recommend setting it to none, so you have no compression on your image. Once you set all of these, once you set up your imported image like this, check, click on apply. Now our level. <coughs> The level is now ready to use with the chat. So open it up, drag the levels file on the here. See it is reading those pick colors properly. So it's and now we'll apply we'll apply the example materials to it. <coughs> We'll set the tile line color to random. Set the minimum strength to 25 and the maximum to 75. <coughs> and now just generate your level like before. <coughs> As you can see, here it is. <coughs> It has properly generated it. Putting the corners where you can see it has generated this level from our image using the different colors for different tiles. And if we play the level, each tile will show up as a random color. <coughs> you can see here, since we selected the RAM option, the line of each tile has been changed to a random color. This is great if you want to recreate something like the uh, the Voice Basics Plus Rave lighting. You know, where every tile is just a random color that's flashing. It wouldn't be hard to do. <coughs> As you can see, if we run it again, the color of each tile is random every time. <coughs> As you would expect. <coughs> And before I close, <clears throat> before I close this off, we're just going to go back to the demo level, <clears throat> which, yeah, it's taken from one of the examples. Oops, it seems like 
I forgot to save this scene. So the level is no longer here. We just quickly, <clears throat> quickly regenerate it. This time I'll make sure to bake the nav mesh, which I forgot to do. Baked Navish. Shows up here as you would expect. <clears throat> so yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. This demonstration of the image based level generator. And hopefully you'll think of downloading it, using it to create your own Baldi's Basics level. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a future video.